Hi everybody! On this video, we approach, creation of test sequences, used on test stand. We demonstrate a simple example of test stand sequence, create with LabVIEW operation. Here, we see one example of sequence used LabVIEW operation. Launch this sequence. Now, we create same sequence with MATLO. We use same operation with type like action and measurement. Now, we see MATLO model to create test stand platform, and use LAV view operation. We consider our project was already created. To create test stand platform, click right on test platform library. Select test stand platform. Now, we need to give a path of template file contain all operation of test stand click on template file path click on three dot button to open explorer select template.sec that we give you on matlo install open it now we create operation for our test platform to do link with lab view operation collapse test stand platform click on setting function library to create action Click on lab view icon to add new operation. Click on operation, to see properties and configure it. Click on test stand operation, to see properties that we need. Click on properties tab. Copy name. We give this name on our operation. Paste name on name properties. Give also this name on function name property, it most important properties because, it's with this properties that we link our matlo operation with lab view operation paste name on function name properties other properties very important it's vi path name to fill it click on three dot button search and select our dot vi file now our operation was configured we verify if use same dot vi with test stand after creation of operation, we create parameter. Click on module tab, to see parameter of lab view operation. Now, you see all parameter that we need to create on matlo operation. Come back on our matlo operation. Click right, to add parameter. Select parameter item. Click on name, to fill it. Give name same like our operation on test stand. Give type same like our operation on test stand. To do that, click on collapse button. It's optional, but we can give default value. Do same thing with all parameter. See one other example. We configure correctly, our operation with parameter. Now, we can use and configure test stand operation. We already associate our operation, to create test stand sequence. Double click on transition, and click on test platform tab. Collapse test stand. We see set data operation, collapse this operation, to see parameter that we can add value. We find all parameter of operation. It's at this time that we can add a new value to parameter for our test stand sequence. Go on other transition. Our model was ready, now we generate test suites and export test stand and sequence. Go on generation view. Click on generate button. Double click on test suite 1, to see result. Collapse test suite and step. Collapse test platform, to see operation. Collapse operation, to see added value. Values that we see here, it's use for our test stand sequence. Now, to export this new test suite, we NNED to add it on project. Go on test suites tab. Click right on test suite, to add it. Select add to project. It's time, 
to export our test suite. Click right. Select export test suite to test stand. Click on finish button. Open our test stand sequence exported. Open our test stand sequence, click on open file button. Search a file. Open test stand underscore one dot sec. We have sequence generated by Matlo, that we can launch. On this video, we present you possibility to calculate your data with your Simulink model.